What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. Today Apple released iOS 11 Beta 4 to developers and there are a bunch of new features, changes, and bug fixes that I wanted to run through for you guys. Just a quick little review, so let's jump right into the video. So iOS 11 beta 4, this is the fourth beta released in mid-July from Apple of iOS 11 and every day we are getting closer to the final release. So just to show you guys about iOS 11 beta 4, I'll jump into my photos application here and the download actually took about 370 megabytes to download, only about 15 minutes to update, which is not bad at all. Now before the update, you guys can see here on my iPhone 6s, I did have the 55.57 gigabytes available out of the 60 and now after the update, you guys can see that I have 57.2 gigabytes. So it did actually free up a lot of space. I'm not sure if this is just my phone having a lot of items like cache aid or something like that, but you can expect to free up some space by downloading the fourth beta. So changes and features. Let's jump right in here, guys. So one of the first noticeable changes you guys will see on iOS 11 beta 4 is on the home screen. If you look closely, you'll be able to see that the reminders application along with the notes application have new icons, just a little bit different than they were on the beta 3. I think for reminders, the dots were on the left side previously, and the notes looks like it has a little bit of a shadowy effect there. Not a huge change, but definitely is different than iOS 11 beta 3. Another change comes with the screen recording application. If you scroll up from the bottom and go ahead and click the screen recorder, you will see that you get three seconds to actually start moving around before it records on your device. Now this is good because it actually allows it to be like a real screen recorder on the computer and you will be able to actually move around before it starts recording. You'll be able to cut the few seconds out at the beginning of the video that you actually are scrolling to wherever you wanna go. So that's a welcome feature there. Another change that I find rather curious of Apple is if you go into the files application on iOS 11, you will see that they removed the on my iPhone section in order to view files. Now I'm not sure why they would do this. That section was meant just to view local files on your iPhone, including photos and documents. And I don't really know why they ever remove features, but that is a change. Hopefully we see that come back in the fifth beta, but right now in the fourth beta that has been removed. Unfortunate, but it is a change. Now a welcome feature comes with the app switcher, guys. If you go to the app switcher and you go ahead and close out of all of your applications here, it will automatically bring you right back to the home screen, which is a welcome change. You used to actually have to click the home button to go right back to the home screen. Also, if you do not have any applications open and you try to get into the app switcher, it will not let you get in. It will give you a little haptic feedback on the iPhone 6s and above, and that just is to let you know you have no applications running, which is a nice little change. Another nice little change in iOS 11 beta 4 is in the control center. If you scroll up from the bottom of the screen and go into the music section, you will see that the actual seeker for music is enabled by default. This actually was not enabled in previous versions of iOS 11, so it is a welcome change and allows you to change where you are in the song on the go without actually opening the music application. Now another big change that was not actually available in iOS 10 beta 3 is in the notification center. If you scroll down from the top and you see a notification there, you can actually swipe to the left to view the notification or clear it and swipe to the right to directly open the application that the notification is for. Now this is actually a great move for iOS 11 users that do not actually have 3D touch or they do have an older device. This will allow you to clear notifications without actually using 3D touch, which is very nice. Now again, you can still 3D touch on the notifications to get right to them, but if you do not have 3D touch, you can also just swipe just like that and it will work for you. Another noticeable feature is if you go into the messages application, go ahead and send a new message. I'll just type in a random number here and then I'll go ahead and go and click the photos right here. You will notice a little bit of a space right here at the bottom in order for you to scroll and actually see your photos. Now previously this was actually all the way at the bottom and you would have to scroll directly on the photos themselves. So Apple might have just implemented this just so that we have a better and easier way of viewing photos when sending them to friends. Now a smaller change is in the control center. If you go into the control center and you click low power mode, you will see a little bit of an animation when turning it on and off. As you guys can see right there, just a nice little change that makes it more, I would say, entertaining. Now lastly, another change is if you go into the notification center or the lock screen, scroll over to the left, you should see a button that actually says, press home to unlock on the bottom. 
press home to open and you will be in your device. This was not actually present in iOS 11 beta 3. Now in terms of overall performance and stability guys, like all betas, I have noticed a great difference between this beta and the iOS 11 beta 3. iOS 11 beta 3 was actually pretty stable for a beta, so not too much of a difference, but I have noticed less crashes so far in the couple hours I've been using it, and it just seems overall more snappy as an operating system. Now this is to be expected with betas, and I expect this to continue as we get closer and closer to the final release in September. So iOS 11 beta 4 is available to developers over the air right now through the settings application of your device. This will be released to the public as well this week, so you can download it the same way through the settings application using a profile over the internet. So go ahead and download it. Let me know what you guys think down there in the description. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Also be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up for more content here on my YouTube channel. I will also put my Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus website page and Instagram page all down there in the description along with some cool stuff for you guys to check out. So be sure to do that. And as always guys, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.